Oh my god. Ugh. Anyways. Hey everybody, I'm back. Uh, I'm playing Minecraft this time, which is kind of crazy considering I haven't played Minecraft in absolutely forever. I'm just kidding, I had just played like, what, three days ago? <laughs> Not even right? No. Yeah, we played like, so, two days. Okay. Three days. Stop lying to me. <laughs> we, we didn't play Friday. We didn't play, it was Sunday. It was Sunday. Yeah, because we played Fallout on Saturday. Lied to me about him. <coughs> Anyways. So, I wanted to try and get back into the swing of Minecraft, especially because I don't want to start actually feeling motivated again. I want to play this, and I actually want to beat the Ender Dragon. That's the objective, as always with Minecraft. But for me, especially because how many times I've played Minecraft but stopped in the middle of it and never gotten far like I'll literally play until I get to diamond you know I've been to the nether I've probably gotten up to the point where I was lucky enough to find another fortress but I never end up actually going to the end and beating the fucking ender dragon because I can never find the freaking um the freaking stronghold and I just uh, I lose motivation and then it just dies out and I'm, yeah, I never end up beating the game, which is crazy. It's crazy because I've been playing Minecraft for so long, yet I had never gone to that point. Uh, the only person that I know has gone to that point is my girlfriend, and I watched her do it when we were living with my mom, so yeah, it was crazy until the game bugged out and she died by hitting an invisible wall. And just said fuck it, <laughs> which honestly I would have too because, you know, you lost everything in a random location and now you can't even find it. So after had she had after he had just gotten the glider too, which is crazy. She had the elytra. There you go. She had just gotten the elytra too after killing the ender dragon and exploring the end cities and shit. So that's just crazy. That was so like gut wrenching. It was awful. Losing everything, random ass location, don't even know where it is and shit. It's fucking awful. Anyways, I'm back and I'm ready. I'm sure. Oh. Dirty brown, brown water. water. Um, I don't know why they did this. I kind of preferred the dirt background more than the transparent uh, background to view the spinning title screen thing. <laughs> I don't know. I just gotta get used to it a little more. <laughs> oh my god, it's been too long. And Minecraft is shitting the bed for some reason. Okay, that's better. The game just kind of like still lags a bit when chunks are loading which is freaking stupid damn it's been freaking a long time i wanted to do it with optifine obviously with shaders and stuff because you know why not and especially the fact that i could hold the torch and i could fucking see because mojang apparently hates people uh but they haven't released the next update for optifine for this update because since this just came out so yeah it just kind of sucks but that's fine and so i'm obviously gonna give it a week or so until it comes out i uh, most likely will stay within the same texture pack or probably change it i don't know it, it all depends so far i've been rocking with the same <laughs> one for so long which is the texture pack that Markiplier used during his drunk Minecraft plays. So, I don't know why I just really like that texture pack. But I might actually play with something different. I might use the one that my um, girlfriend has for a world we have on Bedrock. So, maybe. Do I got my cape? I do got my cape. Cool. Yeah! I could plant this tree back. So nice to hear the Minecraft music, though. 
<laughs> but it's not gonna last long which is another annoying thing i wish minecraft really created like a playlist of music that can just play for each fucking like world like you know the nether you know the ends the overworld and stuff like i would really love actual music to be playing or a sense of ambience you know with like the woods and stuff like that because the thing that just really bugs me about Minecraft half of the time is the fact that the music barely plays. So you're really left with like quietness 90% of the time and then randomly just wants to play music. I could have sworn it wasn't like this. I don't know what it was, but I genuinely think that Minecraft actually, there was a point where music would just play a lot more. There was, right? Yeah, fucking... Like, I get for some people that would be a little bothersome, but now it's just like, they made it too empty. They just, they didn't find the fine line, you know? So that it's not too much, but not too little. It's just right. But, yeah, this game just, <laughs> the only type of ambience it has is when you're in the caves. Or when you're above a cave. You know, it creates that god-awful noise that strikes the fear and hearts of new players. Every single time you walk over a cave without realizing. Speaking of which, cave, and I think that sheep just did a fucking 360 on me. Well, I just realized it didn't give me a map. I guess it's a bedrock thing. Which is kind of stupid. Yeah, it didn't give me one. It is whack. It's whack as fuck. Mojang, I don't appreciate this. I don't appreciate this one bit. I'll let you two chickens live. So, I do have some objectives for today's video, which is uh, build a shit shack, get some iron stuff, find a broken nether portal, and that, that's it. <laughs> that's literally it, just three things. <laughs> I went to look over at my notes, and I thought I wrote more, but that's genuinely it. Beautiful, isn't it? <laughs> Alright, um... This is a nice little spot. I think I'll build here. But I genuinely would like to find a cave, though. Start breaking away at some random cobblestone. It's okay, nobody's gonna know. What's up, Kale? In one frame, I don't know what it is. Every time when I look at a cow, I just think their heads are like flat. Instead of like nice fat square shape that they have. I just think it's like... <laughs> yes. I mean, like, you know, it's just like this. And in like one frame, I think it's like this for some reason. Like a pancake. Okay, why are you fucking sniffing me, bro? Yo, back up. What do you want? Stop following me. Oh, your heads are flat. It's just the FOV that's be messing with me. <laughs> Freaking weirdo. Over here sniffing up all my cheeks and stuff. That's a tall ass fucking tree. Holy shit. Turtles! <laughs> Why did they make them so wide? Yeah, I don't like the way you breathe. You're cool though. I like the colors on you. I love turtles. How did that came, ab came about? Well, when I was a wee lad, I used to love reading a book called Frog, Toads, and Turtles. It taught you everything about frog, toads, and turtles. What else? No clue. <laughs> the book is for fucking kindergartners. Freaking. Haven't seen that book in like forever. Man. I also had like another book too, which talked about like the not physiology that's not how you would say it hold on let's actually look that up before i say a big boy word and i have absolutely no idea what i'm talking about uh oh yes physiology okay cool cool yes that does work hey <laughs> i feel proud of myself like the philly uh phil is i just had a good moment of pronouncing it correctly physiology of different types of turtles like you know sapping turtles their habitats and all that stuff so i remember reading that as 
specifically in like third grade or in um, second grade. It's one of my favorite books. I don't know what it was. I just really liked Snapping Turtles. Like their whole just design and everything's fucking cool as shit. And I thought, yeah, that's the one. I want a Snapping Turtle. And f- funny enough, my um, brother's older brother from his dad's side has a Snapping Turtle named Spike. I fucking love it. And he's had that Snapping Turtle for so long too with other animals as well like snakes freaking rats and shit i he i thought he was cool too which is also like why i would love going over his house too whenever i was with my brother just to see the different type of animals he had and shit because they were cool like these were actual fucking like rats shit they were big as fuck and they were cool one was named ratchet and then the other one i do not remember what he was called So, um... Mm, beautiful. I built the shit shack. I really had a lot of wood and stuff for everything. Holy shit. I can actually organize myself better because of my girlfriend. <laughs> Usually I would have a lot of shit just, like, everywhere and stuff. I really just didn't know how to properly organize my inventory. So I started watching her and how she does things and i'm like oh you know that makes more sense now i'd be a barbarian like everything was a mess and then i'd see the way that she would organize it like if there was a chest specifically for like you know stuff around like the forest like cobblestone wood and stuff like that she would line them all up vertically in stacks like if it's wood the different types of stuff that you could do with it like you know a few stacks and the vertical mine would be the stacks of logs then you had planks then you have like the sticks and, like other shit so you know when i seen that it's like you know that actually <clears throat> makes a lot more sense than the way i was doing it <laughs> uh, we can make a furnace too <laughs> now i need um coal great um <gasps> okay all right, all right you're dying i need stuff I'm sorry. <laughs> I need food. Sustenance. What the? Is there another one? I'm hearing like another cow, but where the hell is it? Food. <laughs> I don't know, but there's. These two fishes that are stuck on the. They're kind of breaking free. <clears throat> huh? Yeah, they're just stuck on top of each other. Oh, there we go. Shape! I don't want to kill it, though, because I don't have shears and I would love that right now. No, it's not. It's that too damn bad. I want fucking. I want shears. I want a bed. I know. I just found a little hole. Uh, well, fuck. Why is there just water leading up here? Bro, come on. I just want stuff. Oh, well, I found some coal. That's very nice. <clears throat> yeah, I am listening to you. I see now. I looked back. Some freaking Japanese Mount Fuji type bullshit that you were just staring at. Oh, well, let me take a picture of that, too. Speaking of Mount Fuji, the fact that... Yo, I can't stand fucking Americans. You what? I'm an American. I can't stand y'all. Because... Tell me why they were banning, you know, tourists from viewing Mount Fuji now. Freaking setting up a whole border and stuff. Like, it's fucking crazy. Why can't y'all just respect their way of life? Why is it that fucking hard? Fucking hate freaking YouTubers. <laughs> freaking or Twitch streamers. Whoever the hell were the freaking influencer dumbasses that were causing this and why is it so hard for y'all to respect like culture and freaking another country bro like it's not that fucking hard now you're just ruining shit for everybody else fucking dickheads iron <laughs> freaking iron oh my god but you know it's funny in a way it kind of makes sense considering you know the way we say it doesn't make sense. I 
Yeah, you see it now, right? Yeah, iron, iron, iron. Iron makes more fucking sense. Oh, oh, they're gonna touch me. I'm about to be touched. Yeah. No. I remember when you could block with a fucking sword, you dickheads. You didn't have to take that away. Fucking, I don't care. Y'all were able to survive, it wasn't that bad. Yeah, you're right. Skeletons must be shooting like he's fucking Call of Duty or something. Out here doing trick shots and shit, like... Calm down. Alright, now I'm good. I just wanted to go into a cave, man. Fucking... It's so stupid. It's just fucking ridiculous. <laughs> Alright. Fuck! I'm so tired of this game just literally juking me. Every time I think it's gonna be a cave, it's just a fucking hole, and there was a random pig in here. Kill that, obviously. I need food. <laughs> oh my god, okay. Is this a cave? Oh, yeah. Forgot about that. I'm jumping to do the special moves and stuff. That's Yeah, no, the fact that you have to do that is kind of ridiculous, and it's a little stupid. I don't know why they couldn't just add the same. I, I I don't understand the point of that. I genuinely don't. Yeah, like that does just fucking nothing. Other, I mean, no, there's something. I mean, it just wastes more time. That's what I mean. Other than just being able to like back up a bit, come forward, and press it when the little sword bar finishes. Just let me do that instead. That's way better than whatever the hell is going on here. Like. Skeletons die a lot quicker. In Bedrock, if I was to do that, jumping and hitting them with the little counter thing, then by the time I even get them to half health, I'm fucking dead and full of fucking arrows. Literally, like, it's incredible how fast they shoot in Bedrock for no reason. Like, I'm out here trying to fucking vibe and shit at nighttime now, and then I'm getting sprayed by a thousand arrows from a fucking Chinese army or some shit. It's like ridiculous. I was about to reference a scene from Mulan, but I'm pretty sure there was no scene like that. Where they were shooting like a thousand arrows up in the air or something. <laughs> no. But I do remember a Disney movie with that happening. I'll find it eventually. But I wanted I wanted it to be move on <laughs> to line up with the Chinese bit. Oh my god. Oh. Okay, ah fucking shit. Alright, I'm out of here. I can't go down there, man. There's so many freaking skeletons and shit. Fucking copper's more abundant than fucking iron. It's so stupid. I can't work like this. Aaron. Aaron. I'll find another cave. That was just stupid. I can't go down there. There's like three skeletons and zombies guarding the fucking hole. Yeah, they're guarding the hole and they're not like letting up. They're not moving anywhere else. It's so annoying. I haven't found a good cave. And there's a tree in the shape of a pea. Um, yeah, no, I haven't found a cave. I'm gonna go back to my shit shack. And yeah, that's gonna be... Oh! This fucking buffoonery. I am gonna jump. I'm hoping not, not this season, though. <laughs> My girlfriend does not like the season of Fortnite because of the cars. Which, to be fair, yes, they can be pretty annoying and shit. And, like I've discussed before with you, if they don't properly change things to different modes and stuff, then you're gonna find people fucking sweating their dick cheese off in casual when they should be in fucking rank. You god awful stinky husky motherfuckers need to go touch grass. This is tough, right? Am I. No, this is deep sight. Oh my god, Deep State is so different than regular Minecraft. Yeah, because in um, Deep Slate in texture packs, they make you more darker than usual. Like black and stuff. But it's gray. I'm such a fucking idiot. I just pulled a peach by. I broke gold with... <laughs> I didn't think about it. I was in the moment of talking. Fuck. God damn it. Ah, uh, fuck, man. I don't think I'm going to pull off today's thing, but at least I found iron. Yeah. So, you know, there's that uh, motherfucker. Uh-huh. You fell in the hole, bitch. 
<gasps> Diamond. Oh my god. Hello, every yeah, that's what that reminded me. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, um Yeah, I know I did that. <laughs> and then it was all me. Um Time to make my fifth fucking furnace. <laughs> Cause obviously, I mean, oh, see, I like, I already have two right here. Freaking ridiculous. You covered your entire map, you said? Good job. Okay. Oh. I found two diamonds. I know. Crazy. I'm a fucking explorer. Hey, I found more. I found enough to make a diamond pickaxe. <laughs> yeah, I know. I found three. Yes and no. I looked at the wrong fucking screen. I always... That's scary, actually. I would hate that. <laughs> because I would keep looking over here on OBS where I could see my camera. So, I'm just like imagining if I look there, then I'm obviously going to be looking at myself. Like, making direct eye contact as if I'm staring at the camera. But that's why I say it's scary, because I would hate that if I actually did do that. And it's like, that's not me. It's a fucking ghost in my computer. Demons. What I'm happy though, now thinking about it, when um bringing up the end here and stuff i'm actually happy that it's gonna be a lot easier to get to the end at least to find the fortress and stuff or not the fortress the um fucking which i'm stronghold thank you i'm sorry i was mixing up so many things because you know in the nether trading with the piglings for it with gold and stuff and just being able to get the eyes and all that crap i'm like happy for that oh yeah it's the pearls and then i gotta make the eyes with the blaze rods which that's going to be a pain in the ass on its own. And I'm really hoping I'm not going to have a hard time finding the nether castle with that. Well, at the very least, I could just make some armor. With the iron. Made some pants and I made some, I made a chest plate. I know, right? I know, I'll make a diamond pickaxe. Boom, right there. Glorious. Look at that shit. We're fucking masters right now holy crap so another thing that i actually wanted to bring up though is that i'm really excited for the games that are going to be releasing you know later this year and the other games that were shown at the xbox um showcase thing freaking ex showcase yeah the xbox showcase yeah the no the xbox did a showcase thing yeah before the nintendo yeah, so that's exactly what I was getting into. Xbox showcased the newest Fable game that they're making. They showcased the prequel, pretty much the beginning of Gears of War, which I'm really excited for, even though I never played any of the other games, which shouldn't really matter now, considering this is going to be the start of everything. So now it would make more sense to play that. Um, they showcased doom dark ages which is a prequel to eternal and stuff which i also feel like i don't know i was trying to get this in my head of how it's gonna go because i know it's doom 1 doom 2 hell on earth doom 64 doom 2016 and then doom eternal and then the dlcs so uh i had to look into it a little more this dark age either if dark age falls before no if it falls before 2016 or at some point during Eternal. But not only that, they showcased, they have Perfect Dark, they're making a new game. Either, I don't know if it's going to be a remake entirely or a continuation. The Indiana Jones game, which is crazy. They haven't made one in like quite some time. They did Obsidian's Fantasy RPG Vow South of Mind's uh, Midnight, Age of Mythology Retold. We have Assassin's Creed Shadows, which I'm really excited about. Dragon Age: The Veilgar, Metal Gear Solid Snake Eater remake, which I'm actually excited for. Black Ops 6, which I'm, <laughs> as you know, a previous advocate for Call of Duty player myself. I wasn't good at the game, but I really enjoyed Black Ops, Black Ops 2, MW3, MW2, and. 
you know, those obviously hold a special place in my heart. So seeing that they're going back to a lot of stuff that just makes sense, it's happy. Like, you know, temper sieges, round face zombies, freaking, it's just, I honestly can't wait. It looks good, and it looks like they're taking a lot of steps in the right direction compared to freaking Warzone and um, the MW3 remake. We have a Diablo 5 Vessel of Hatred, looks like a DLC. Starfield Shattered Space, another DLC. We have Fallout 76 Skyline Valley, Life is Strange Double Exposure, Winter Burrow, Flintlock Siege of Dawn, Mecha Break, Expedition 33, The Elder Scrolls Golden Road, I mean Gold Road, Adam Fall, Frag Punk, Wu Chang Fallen Feathers, New Sea of Thieves, I'm assuming. State of Decay 3, Flight Simulator 2024, Mixtape, which I did see the trailer for that and I actually love it. It's a really good game uh, from the looks of it. And I just love the style and the whole concept. Uh, World of Warcraft, The War Within, that seems to be it, honestly. There's another game though that was show uh, not showcased for Xbox, but was for the Xbox 360 and was for the PlayStation 3, which is Lollipop Chainsaw, and I'm so fucking excited for that. So, the games that I'm really, really excited for are Dragon Ball Sparking Zero, Lollipop Chainsaw, Repop, Call of Duty Black Ops 6, Gears of War E-Day, Doom, Dark Ages, and yeah, freaking, I'm just, oh, Metal Gear Solid Snake Eater, I would really like to try that because I, to be completely honest with you, the only Metal Gear game that I played was Metal Gear Rising Revengeance and holy fucking shit, I found more diamonds. I think it's just two. Yeah, it's just two again. That's fine. So I, I really would like to try Snake Eater. I really want to play Dark Ages um, because I played Eternal. I'm a huge fan of Doom. I've loved it since Doom 1 and 2 and 64 so i'm getting the chance to play doom 2016 when it had come out during when i just started high school and doom eternal stuff so fucking love both of them 2016 is like one of my top favorites like it'd be doom 2 2016 eternal 64 and one for me i don't know what it is but what else it was another game that i would love to try Perfect Dark, honestly, like, I've seen a lot of stuff about it, and the fact that we're, they're getting another one is insane. The per only Perfect Dark game was for the Nintendo 64, which, during the Direct, they showcased that they're gonna have it for the Nintendo 64 expansion for Nintendo Online, which is cool. I just wish it didn't cost 79 extra fucking dollars. Another game that I'm really excited for that wasn't a part of the showcase that was revealed, I believe, sometime last year, is Silent Hill 2 remake and I do have plans for revisiting Silent Hill 2 before October because I would really love to like you know revisit it because Silent Hill 2 is a really good game I had a fun time with it and even despite it being old the atmosphere still really got to me and just every moment felt like just an unexpected twist and turn and I loved it and it was just such an awesome experience for such an old game the only thing though that I hated was the be one of the beginning puzzles with the medallions and placing them in the correct positions because of the description. That fucked me up for like an hour and I, I genuinely had to look it up. I, I don't know, me and my autistic brain could not put, put the pieces together. It was just impossible for some reason. I was never really good at reading some stuff and figuring out context clues to that degree so it just it went over my head so much and i struggled so much um so i wanted to do that and of course releasing september is lollipop chainsaw repop i fucking love lollipop I fucking love lollipop chainsaw so much i used to watch my aunt play it all the time and freaking i've never had the chance to really play it or i did get to play it once but i didn't get very far i was still stuck in the beginning but I've seen, like, I saw on, like a month ago on TikTok that it was getting some, some recognition recognition again when the creator announced that he was going to remake it, The you know, for modern games. Same joke, same voice actor, same everything. And I just thought, fuck yeah. Because after watching some of the clips that people have made, it's like, it's just awesome. I love it. And <laughs> it has such good moments, too. What's your favorite color, Nick? Blue. 
No, green. Awesome. I love learning about you. I fucked up. It's yellow. So I'm like, I, me and my friends were talking about it for a while, and I'm just so excited, and I can't wait for it, man. Holy shit. A lot of good games are coming out, and my wallet's about to be fucking empty as shit. More diamonds! So yeah, I wanted to know from you guys, what is the game that you're waiting for? Like, what is the one that's got you hyped up the most that you can't wait for? Let me know in the comment section below. I would really like to hear it because honestly, it's just, it'd be fun to share, you know, experiences and reasons why and just like, you know, to know how it catches your interest and stuff. It'd be awesome. Yeah, three diamonds. Four. I found six diamonds. Fuck yes. Holy shit. What I need to do is find more iron. Holy fuck. The fact that I still haven't found more is insane. Oh. There's more diamonds though. Going for it, going for it, going for it. So i don't like that oh cool that's nothing uh i think i'm near one of those things that spawn the warden you heard uh i think i'm one of the near those things that spawn the warden because i see this oh, oh, oh my god okay don't fucking 360 me motherfucker loser guess what i found more diamonds Oh, I found another! <laughs> Yo, what the fuck? Oh, no! <gasps> Stop. Please. I don't have enough food. Fuck. Oh. Well, cool. It spawned some water. Alright, I saw another set of diamonds. Hola, diamonds. Como estas? Oh, there's just one. God. Hey, guess what? I found more. Oh, this is one diamond. Cool. It let me above, though. Oh. Ah, motherfucking piss. Why? Where do you come from? Okay, look at- Yo, what the fuck is going on right now? Well, I have to say, this was a very successful expedition. Let's grab a bit more iron, and then we can get the fuck out. Get out. Damn, can I not mine in peace? Fuck. Alright, so. Ah, oh, fuck. Oh my god, how are you still hitting me from this distance? Please, please, please. Alright, this is going to take some time for me to get back to my base, so I will obviously see you all there. Oh, we did it. We made it back to the shit shack. 
holy shit. I honestly was not expecting so much stuff. Yeah, how? How? Like, it's fucking insane how many diamonds we fucking got. Yeah. All in all, even though I didn't get to find a broken nether portal, I'm pretty happy with today's video. Honestly, it turned out great. You know what I'm doing. Because oh. I'm still recording. So, thank you guys so much for watching the video. Hope you enjoyed. Honestly, we did really good today. That was fucking awesome. We got a lot of diamonds. We made their shit shack. And we obtained iron. So, I think today was the job well done. So, I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.